It's Dr. Searcy with your video summary for August 25th. Today in class, our big quote came from the Broadview Anthology of Literature's introduction, where we read, our study of the past says as much about us as it does about the past we are trying to study. I had you write your reading responses to that. You did a very good job. And I summed this up with the problem of text and context. In fact, that's the way that the book itself sums it up. If we're looking at Beowulf and we want to know more about the warrior culture of the poem, where do we go? Well, we'll go to context. But where can we find the information with which we'll figure out something about Beowulf? We're in another book a book that may call itself history, but we're still in mediated history. So, this problem between text and context and how they should relate to one another, where, can, where we can get a firm ground for interpreting a work is a big problem. Now, the way I summed up my response to the problem and my approach to the class is this way. First, yes, History is always mediated for us. The past is always mediated through texts, but that does not mean the past is unknowable. Two, text and context are mutually reinforcing. Literature springs out of a particular historical moment, but then has effects on the non-literary environment around it. Both of them support one another. Number three, there are no ethically neutral acts of reading or writing. That means whether we focus on an author or a reader, whether we choose to focus on text or context, we are responsible to give an honest account of what we see. And that responsibility is a privilege and it's a charge we have as we move forward during the semester. Next up, it's the Exeter Elegies. So I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Have a good weekend.